So now we're going to talk about textual citation if two people are speaking. So Wit is talking right here, and that's just what they done. There it is. And then Slim immediately says, guess you're right. Got it, got it right in the book. So what we're going to say is Wit said, comma, and then since it's somebody speaking, it's going to be a 3Z. One, two, three. Okay, you're going to go comma, space, 3Z, and then capitalize that first letter. And that's just what they've done. There it is. Then we end his quote right there with another 3Z. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, to represent that it's dialogue. Then they're stacked. These quotes are stacked right on top of each other, but we don't want to stack it in our writing, so that's why we're going to have to say something like Slim then replied, or Slim then said, or afterwards Slim noted, something like that. We're going to put a comma, space, 3Z, because, again, it's somebody speaking. Capitalize this first letter. Guess you're right. Got it right in the book. 3Z to end the quote. And then space Steinbeck 47 for the page number. And then this is where we're going to put the period. So to recap, Wit said comma space 3Z to represent dialogue. Capitalize, give the quote, and then give the 3Z to end it. Then, notice again I have my period right here. Then I'm going to say something like Slim replied or Slim said comma space 3Z. Capitalize the first letter in the dialogue all the way to 3Z, again, to close out that dialogue, Steinbeck 47, and then put the period.